Hey fourth graders, we are going to talk about tessellations today. I think you'll find this is a pretty easy topic, so let's get started with that. Okay, tessellation is another word for tiling. So if we were going to tile something, we create a tessellation, and it's a repeated use of shapes to fill a flat space. And there won't be any gaps, no space in between, okay, and we won't have to overlap anything. Now, you can use a lot of polygons for this, but not all will fit, okay? So, but we know that we can always use a triangle or a quadrilateral. Remember, a quadrilateral is a four-sided shape, okay? And four-sided shapes and triangles will always be able to do a tessellation. So, if I was going to do a tiling pattern or a tessellation with triangles here, okay, I would tile it like this. Okay, and I'm using triangles. There's no overlapping and there is no gaps. All right? Okay, and I can always do another row here. Okay, just like that. Okay, so that would be a tessellation with triangles. Okay, I could use rectangles to do a tessellation. Okay? And maybe you've seen floors that look like this. Okay, they're tiled out like this with their rectangles. Okay, this is another example of a tessellation. Okay, a hexagon will work for a tessellation. Okay, remember a hexagon has six sides. Okay, so... My hexagons will fit together nicely. Okay? And then I can fill in my other hexagons here. My hexagons are getting a little squatty down there, but you get the point. They fit in there. Okay? So remember, a tessellation is tiling. It's repeated use of a pattern here. Okay? And you can use polygons as long as they are not going to have gaps or overlap. Okay, so not all polygons will work, but there are a lot that will. All right, fourth graders, we will see you tomorrow.